Welcome to MMADraft.com, ladies and gentlemen. I am Frank Trick here in the Sin City, Las Vegas, Nevada studios. That is Salman Abadar, and he is, where are you right now? Sacramento? Sacramento, California. What is it with Uriah Faber and Team Alpha Male getting all of the ugliest guys on his team? I don't understand. <laughs> no, I think we're known for the best looking men in MMA, right? Yeah, yeah, the best looking guys with no shirts on. I don't think Uriah owns a shirt. And if he does own one, it's, it's a short sleeve, so, or a no sleeve, rather. So, how, uh, how are things going up there right now? Uh, as far as training camps go, Uriah's getting ready for a fight. There's a lot of big guys getting, getting ready in that camp. How are things going overall with uh, the Team Alpha Male as a, as a training center for you? Overall, you know, Team Alpha Mill, the training is just awesome. I got a fight coming up soon, and then plus, you know, we got Dwayne Ludwig on our team now. You know, your eyes getting ready for his fight. And it's crazy, man. There's straight killers out here, dude. You know, just every day just going under, grinding it out, you know, beating the shit out of each other. It's just awesome right now, especially for my training camp also. You're uh, first, your first generation in Afghanistan. You, you were born, uh, born and raised here, but your parents are from Afghanistan. Yes. What's it been like up there in the Bay Area? Like, uh, any tensions, any problems growing up? You know, were you one of those kids that got picked on a lot, or were you always kind of, uh, kind of in, the, in the hierarchy of the, of the programs? Uh, growing up as a kid, you know, like, I've always felt this connection with my people and my culture. So, especially in the, in the Bay Area and California in general, there's a big Afghan population, especially here in, a, in a Sacramento, too. So, you know, you know, growing up, you know, you get picked on a couple times, but, you know, on the streets, man, you gotta back it up, so that, that's just how it is, you know? What made you wanna to come to MMA, though? I mean, you could've done anything. I mean, your first generation, I'm sure your parents wanted to be doctors and lawyers and, and accountants, why MMA? I think what it is, is, is I think all Afghan people have this like warrior type like mentality that we have, you know, like we've never lost in war, you know? So growing up as a kid, you know, like, there's just something missing, and then when I came out to Sacramento, I was 13, you know, I found Team Alpha Male, and then fighting was just a natural instinct. And I just fell in love with them, and my parents support me 100%. And okay. it's just it's something I feel like I could uh, represent my people in a positive way. When's your next fight? Next fight, March 15th in uh, Lake Tahoe. Okay, who's your opponent? Opponent, I don't really know his name. You know, I don't really care. That, you know, m my team's the one that look at the video, so I'm just going to go in there and just kill, you know. That's what I do. Uh, how, do you, how are you balancing your training with your schoolwork? Because you still got school going on, too. Yeah, yeah, I go to community college right now, I'm 19, so it's just, I mean, it's hard, but, you know, I just, you know, focus my training all around, my like, class schedules, and so it's perfect, you know, it's almost like I'm still training full-time, you know, but with school on the side, so I still get three different training sessions a day, and it's just awesome. How, uh, how tough is it, like, you know, you got, you got a match coming up, but you got a finals, you got a match coming up, you have a test. Yeah. What, what's going to take priority? Some has to give, so how do you, how do you find that balancing zone? The balance is, is just uh, just showing school and fighting, just like what you said, just find a balance through everything. You know, if I got a test, you know, I study. If I got training, I still train hard. But but for but I make sure I get each thing done, get school done, get fighting done, just give everything 100%. What do you want to be in your school? What are you going to try your degree in? Uh, most likely criminal justice or something in that nature, so, you know, fighting, criminal justice, maybe nutrition, it's just to see, you know, but right now I'm just doing my G, so I'm just trying to figure everything out. But, you know, case fighting is 100%, you know. <laughs> so what's, what's going to happen? What are your future for MMA then? What do you want to do with, with fighting? MMA, you know, obviously, you know, uh, go pro, because, you know, I've been training with Uriah since I was about 13 years old. Oh. Yeah, for like since 13 years old, I was out there with Team Alpha and they told me, you know, I couldn't fight till I was 18, you know, I was too young, this and that. So I just, you know, grew up doing grappling tournaments, wrestling tournaments, did, you know, just tr train with those guys. Now that I hit 18, I'm getting my uh, amateurs done. I'm 19 now, so I think maybe a couple more fights, two more fights, make my pro debut, inshallah. What's uh, your record right now? 3-0 in amateur? Yeah, 3-0. Yeah, okay, so after this one, you 4 you know, you want to try and get seven fights? You want to try and get 10 fights? Like how, how many amateur fights do you want to have? The funny thing was, <laughs> when I first turned 18, they wanted me to make my pro debut just uh, right off the back. But then I talked to them, you know, I was just like, hey, you know, like, I want to get a couple amateurs, you know, just, you know, kind of make a statement in each fight. And then I think maybe maybe one or two more fights, hopefully, uh, make my pro debut. Well, you know, that's, uh, that's actually good, a good space. I've always been a guy that's like, you know, try and get 20. Try and get 20 amateur fights. And like, why 20? You know, because the first 10 are really exciting and really cool. The next five, your 11th through your 15th one, you're kind of like, this is kind of like work, and I'm not getting paid for it. Yeah. And then 16 through 20, you're kind of like, 
either you love it or you don't, and you're all the way in and you're all the way out because everyone's trying to do it now because it's on TV, because there's a lot of money to be made, so that's why everyone's jumping into it, and they're getting, they're, they're realizing it's a lot more work than they're giving it in for, so uh, my suggestion to you is, is get a lot more amateur fights, like keep going, like take another year of doing amateur fights, get, get through community college first, Definitely. then worry about going pro, after you, after you get your community college degree, then you can worry about going pro. Definitely. I think what it is, is just, you know, as a young fighter, you're just young and hungry, but I agree with what you're yeah. saying. It's always good to get that experience and just, you know, see where you're at. So that's why, you know, like, maybe just see after these one or two more fights, see where I'm at, if, if I want to make that debut. And if not, you know, just keep getting more fights and keep getting better. I like it. I like it. All right, Salamat, thanks for coming out here on MMADraft.com. Good luck in your next fight up there in uh, Tahoe. Uh, we'll be talking to you soon. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's really a pleasure to actually find some younger guys that do have a passion and hungry, but also haven't given up on getting their education. A lot of guys now in your age group are just fighting and not trying to get an education. Yeah. I firmly believe you got to have both, otherwise you're not going to be able to survive. Thank you very much, Frank. You got it. Talk to you soon. All right, brother.